exactly a year this week since I bought my 2021 Polygon Siskiyou T7. And although I haven't upgraded too much, and not really any since the last video, other than a few details, I am getting ready in about four weeks to do a full overhaul on a few things. However, since it's been a year since I've got it and have been riding it, I figured for all those people that are still shopping this bike and wondering whether to get it uh, and wondering how it holds up, here it is. So, uh, you're into it, and I have to say, this bike has stood up to some beatings, and it went through a bike park season, and it has impressed the heck out of me. I think it's great for the value, and I think that uh, I'm sticking with the frame, and, you know, after a year of riding, the one thing that's really gone is the drivetrain. My cranks are worn out, the chain's worn out, and I have a couple cogs that are not even really holding onto the chain too well, so I'm getting a little skipping scenario. The derailleur's been beat up and hit logs and stuff like that, so it's time. Uh, I think I might be switching from Shimano, though, over to a SRAM Eagle GX drivetrain set, full set, group set. Uh... I'll be able to um, make the upgrade in a few weeks, so it's going to be worth it, and I want to get a good one. I don't want to, you know, I think that would be a worthy upgrade to spend the money on it. And my local shop is uh, the largest tram dealer in the area and having a hard time to get Shimano parts, so it doesn't sell Shimano drivetrain. So I'd have to upgrade this on my own by piecemealing it or just buying a whole new group set. However, I want to switch my wheels also, so when I switch over to the SRAM, these wheels came with Shimano hubs uh, on entity rims, and the bike park season kind of beat up my rear rim. My front's fine, however, uh, it's time for new wheels, whole new drivetrain group set. Uh, this bike came with the Tektro brakes which, you know, there's a four piston on the front, but only a two piston on the back. Although I upgraded the rotor to a 200 and put metallic brake pads on, which helped a lot. <clears throat> However, I'm going to buy the same brake in a four piston and replace that as well. That's also gonna, between that, um, so I'm gonna be getting new wheels, whole new wheel set, whole new drivetrain group set, Four piston back brake. Um, I'm gonna get new tires with my new wheels. Same tires, I love these tires. I have the Minion DHR2 double down in the back. And then the Asagai. Uh, this one's a 2.5 in the front. I have a 2.3 in the back. I don't have the downhill casing on the front, but I never seem to need it, so I go for the lightness and the grip. And on the back I go with the double down for strength. So I'm sticking with this tire set, but I'm going to have a new wheel set, new drivetrain. And that's all happening in a, in a couple weeks. So I'll do another video update once I get the new upgrade. Because it's, you know, whole new wheels and drivetrain. It's a, kind of a major upgrade for this bike. Uh, I'm probably going to put in a new headset. I may get a new dropper post because these things stretch, as everybody knows, over time. And this one's real loose. And getting a little, uh, it's not performing as well, let's just say. After that, there's a slim chance I also may upgrade the suspension. My suspension is working fine, and I gotta say, I've actually been pleasantly surprised by these. Uh, it's the Deluxe Select Plus by RockShock in the back. It's only 135 travel, though. Um, and I kind of wouldn't mind going up to maybe 150 in the back we'll see i gotta find out if i can do that on this bike and with my front fork it's 140 i may get a thicker stanchion fork i might buy a lyric at 150 mil travel but we'll see i'm not i'm not sure what i'm going to do there with that but i'm definitely getting a new wheel set and drivetrain group set in a couple weeks 
So I'll do an update once that's done. But that's it. Uh, I'm also loving these SQ Lab bars and the uh, Spank stem. And that's about it for now. Okay, I'm going to follow this up with some riding clips from the past few months. This bike has really allowed me to progress at my age. I'm 51 now and I have a long time BMX background. So that's been an advantage of getting back into biking a few years ago and riding mountain bikes. Uh, you know, a bike like this has actually helped me progress even still at my age, which has been pretty awesome and surprising. So this, this bike has actually allowed me to do some types of riding I never thought I'd be doing. And the bike park season opens up in one week, so I'm about to get this bike ready for it because I know I'm going to give it a beating. But that's it. This bike's a year old, still hanging in strong, haven't had to replace too much. Uh, and I'm going to keep it going and just keep upgrading things as I go along here and improving on it. Thanks for watching. Holy moly!